guys, Risque here, and welcome back to L.A. Noir. So last we left off, we were here at the Hall of Records, just doing this tedious bullshit. Oh, Jesus, okay. Four minutes, 29 seconds north. So, 34, 4, 29. degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds. 118, 17, 58. The lot number's 1876988. Eight. Unfortunately, that is just the beginning. We have at least a million lot numbers in the Los Angeles area. The registrations are in alphabetical order. You need to convert your lot number to a letter. How do I do that? Over here. Use this adding machine. There are 90,000 entries to a book, so divide your lot number by 90,000. This is so fucking stupid. <laughs> One, eight, seven, six, nine, okay. eight, eight. Divided by... One, eight, seven, six, nine, eight, eight. by 90,000 9 1 Shut up, Kelso. You're just distracting me at this point. Twenty. Twenty. A starts at zero, so you want to add one to your number. Twenty-one. That number is your letter of the alphabet. You check the letter, find the right aisle, and you are in business. Okay. You do this every day? I do not envy you, sir. Let's see what the side is worth to you. Uh. Wait. One, eight, seven, six. Nine eight eight. One eight seven. Wait, which one? One eight seven six nine eight eight. One eight seven. Okay. The book value is three fifty. With the new home in place, the improved value of the property is thirty five hundred. They can make a killing. <laughs> How do they pull it off? Know why I plumb for the caddy? The extra trunk space. One thing you learn in the war, boys, you do your talking once the smoke clears. God damn it. Honestly, Kelso is pretty hot. You can walk out of here or go out in a box. Your choice. Where are the other two? I'm gonna find you. Oh, where? Oh. Fuck. Okay, that was bullshit, but whatever. <clears throat> Dude, I really can't skip it. Oh, that's so stupid. Wait, maybe it's an options. Um. Display. No. Camera. You can play this whole game in black and white. That sounds absolutely miserable. <laughs> so, I didn't think there would be a way that this game could get more boring, but that that may do it. That may have done it. Stand up, you fucking asshole. Throw out the guns. He's there, right there. Oh. Uh -huh. ah. Ah. Sure. Don't 
don't mind if I do. What the hell? Whoa. Shit. Shit. Oh my god. In every game I play, everybody just always picks horrible times to reload. Wait. Are we gonna... Oh god damn it. Fuck you, dude. Can you just fucking die already? Jesus. Like, take a goddamn hint. I need a word, Courtney. That's okay, Jack. Y you didn't need to come all the way down It's here. important, Courtney. How can I help? Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. What are you talking about? Don't fuck with me, Courtney! Jack, I swear. I don't know what you're talking about. How does your name appear as one of the investors in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? You're out of your mind. I was down at the Hall of Records checking on a property company called Elysian Fields Developments. Their funding comes from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Seriously, Jack, I have no idea. Your name is there, Courtney, with some pretty interesting company. The mayor, the district attorney, some dirty cops, and your buddy, Dr. Harlan Fontaine. Dr. Fontaine? Spill it, Courtney. I want all of it. Fontaine and the rest. Fontaine took the morphine off our hands. Look, Jack, I know you said to get rid of it. But it's okay. I did something good for once. He reinvested the money for us. That's it. That's what's happening. They're building houses for GIs, Jack. I turned a mistake into something beneficial. Something that's going to help out the guys. Courtney, they're building matchstick houses. They're going to burn them for the insurance money. They'll probably stiff the poor bastards for the deposits. Please, Jack. Say it isn't so. Harlan's a doctor. A good one. He helps out a lot of people. Looks like he's helping himself, Courtney. You're the fall guy. All right. Let's answer the phone. Where is the goddamn phone? Jack Kelso. Who's asking? Leland Monroe. I was wondering when you'd get around to calling. I'd like to meet with you, Mr. Kelso. I bet you would, Mr. Monroe. But I value my skin highly enough to not want to meet with you. Why don't you just send some more of your boys around and we'll have a nice cup of tea? You realize that I could make you a very wealthy man, Mr. Kelso. Better than $220 a month? You're a very witty man, Kelso. Substantially better. I'm going to have to let it slide, Mr. Monroe. Are you haggling with me, Jack? I might be. Come around to my place at 9. 5164 Santa Monica Boulevard. You'll come? I might. Good night, Mr. Monroe. Why couldn't I have just played this whole game as Kelso? I would have enjoyed it probably a lot more. We got screwed. Alright. Let's go to Monroe's mansion. Let's do this thing.
get excited for more fuckery and bullshit. I might just go ahead and finish the game tonight. I appreciate the help, all of you. I don't want to do another day of this. I want a minimum of noise and no prisoners. No prisoners? This isn't Pele Lu, Jack. These guys are grifting GIs. That's what they do for a living. It's okay, Jack. We all feel the same way. Just hasn't turned out quite the way we imagined. Let's get it done. Teams of two at the ready. I think I might just finish the game tonight. We don't have that much longer to go. And I was kind down. of expecting to record some other games tonight, so I'm like, may as well just go ahead and just get it over with. Because I don't want to do another day of this. I would rather start fresh next session. Come on, you sack of shit. Damn. Of course. Of course, that's the moment he reloads. There's not a reload button. I tried earlier. Fuck you. Oh my god. Oh, you're annoying as hell. Thank you. Business with Mr. Leland Monroe. Can I take this? Thank you. So good. There is blast him. Fuck you. Very sweet looking girl to be holding such a big gun. I know how to use it, mister. I'm sure you do. So how about pointing it over there in the direction of Hollywood instead of at me, princess? You're quite the wise guy. 
Don't normally shoot women, princess. How about putting the cannon down? Didn't think you had the guts, sweetheart. I was never very good at reading women. Monroe! Where are you, damn it? Who fucking knows at this point? Shit. So are we on our own now? I guess so. Put the weapon down, now! Okay. That, oh. Jesus. Weapons on the ground now! I will take that gun. And kind of give myself a second, let my health regenerate. Oh. Where? Oh, there you are. I got you now, motherfucker! No, you don't. It's cute that you think that, though. How long do you think you can hold out? Give it up, John. Almost out. Need a new weapon. God, God damn it. Wrong fucking buttons. I hate this game sometimes. <laughs> Actually, all the time. Like, every time. Well, I tried. Oh, it's so dark, I can't see anything. Guess that means we need to go this way. I just don't trust it. Yeah, Kelso. That's my opening negotiating position. Oh, you crazy son of a bitch. How did you get in here? I'm bleeding to death. Get me a doctor. I thought I had an invitation, Monroe. Your boys outside were certainly expecting me. That's my second offer. You sadistic bastard. What do you want? I'm going to take a look around, Monroe. Then I want you to tell me what you know about the mayor and those Trojan houses that you're building. Okay, um... Let's look on the cabinet behind the desk. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Remind me what they say about absolute power, Monroe. Fuck you, Jack. Ah, call me an ambulance already. Call your own damn ambulance. Dr. Fontaine, I need to speak with you urgently. Sit down. Please, sit down. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. It's the fund we are using to channel money into the development of new houses. Why is my name on the board of managers? Technically, you are a major contributor. Please, Courtney. Those houses are a sham, Doctor. They're going to be burned for the insurance. That's a scandalous allegation, Courtney. Do you have any proof? Jack Kelso, an investigator for California Fire and Light, has seen them. He was almost killed when he found out what was going on. I don't know what to say. I feel that I have been duped. Who do you think is behind this subterfuge? Jack says it's a property developer named Monroe. He said it goes all the way to the mayor. You cannot have believed that I was involved. I don't know what to believe anymore, Doctor. I hope that you weren't involved. Thank you for your trust, dear boy. Be still, Courtney. All of your troubles are finally over. Let them go.
Let them drift away. Okay. So then we need to check the safe. I'm guessing Vincent's portfolio is only a fraction the size of yours, Monroe. And check this out. Oof, that's a lot to read. Dr. Harlan J. Fontaine is implicated in the supply and distribution of uh, narc narcot narcotics. Jesus, I thought the S was an E. In the greater LA County area, in his capacity as a clinical psychiatrist, he has dispensed large quantities of contraband morphine to drug dealers and users under the pretext of prescribing treatments for his patients. Between July 18th and September 3rd, 1947, 22 suspects arrived for narcotics possession and claimed the drugs were medications given to them to alleviate the symptoms of various psychiatric illnesses. Several showed paperwork to this effect. No pattern was noticed by arresting officers, however, and no further action taken uh, since each charge amounted to no more than a misdemeanor and the suspects were processed across four separate divisions. On September, 4th, uh, September 7th, 1947, after a lengthy interrogation, suspect Reginald Barclay offered the name of an associate he knew only as Doc Fontaine. See interview transcript. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care. Pause to read if this interests you. Smart. Keep the dirt on Fontaine under lock and key. This is your insurance. Cool. Okay, and then check the desk. Uh. Some sold up. The others obviously didn't know the links these sons of bitches would go to. It can't be stopped, Kelso! There's too much money at stake. Kingdoms rise and kingdoms fall, Monroe. Ask the Emperor of Japan. Have some fucking mercy! Operator, put me through to Phelps, arson squad. Yeah, Biggs, it's Jack. I'm at Monroe's. He's in a talkative mood. If you get here in a hurry, you might get something before he bleeds to death. <coughs> Elsa. Oh, thank God. Where? Fontaine. Dead? Former patient. So that crazy son of a bitch finally came back for a checkup. It's Monroe. He's raving. You want information, cocksucker. You get me some medical help. I've got to go, Herschel. Monroe's negotiating again. Do you want my final offer, Leland? Tell me how I find the guy who has Elsa. Not Casey. He did whatever Fontaine asked. He had some kind of power over him. He, he, he did all the fires and then a he went off the roll. rails. I don't have a fucking name! He walked into Bugsprayer. Get me a goddamn doctor! don't care about this case. It's DLC. It does not matter. It doesn't add anything. I don't care. Jack. There's a statewide APB out. Oh, and I have to play as fucking Phelps? No, I'm out. How do we help? We go after the other side of the equation. Jack has a lesion and its cronies running scared. We go after the doctor and some of the other guys. But the whole department breathed down our necks. It's time for action, Herschel. It's time for change. 
Jack's crossed the Rubicon, and we have to be on the other side right now. Christ, what was that? Explosion. Something big. You think it's the Reds? That explosion the animation was terrible. Oh my bombing. god. Calm down, Marshall. We need to be ready for the call. I'm embarrassed for, for Rockstar. Get in the car and head for the cloud. KTPL can give us the details on the way. No. No, I'm good. Save, goddammit. Save, goddamn it. I don't want to play as Phelps. I don't like him. <laughs> He's like, ugh, so just blah. Okay, I thought he stopped, but I guess not. Okay, this is getting old. that note we're gonna go ahead and end this episode here hope you guys enjoyed if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe share it with your friends with the bell so you don't miss an upload and i'll see you guys next time